Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to show you how to create this responsive navigation menu. This is what it looks like full screen. And then when you resize the window, it'll turn into a hamburger menu. And this is how it looks when you click on it. All right, guys, let's get started. Let's create a header and a nav inside of that. I'm going to give this a class name of navbar. Now let's create a link. And this is where the name of our company is going to go. We're going to add a hashtag inside of the href because this is not actually going to go anywhere. We're going to give this a class name of nav branding. So I'm just going to add dev in there. Now we're going to create our nav menu. So we're going to give that a class name of nav menu. All right, the first item we're going to add, we're going to give it a class name of nav item. And inside, we're going to add a link. And once again, that's not going to go anywhere. So we're just going to add a hashtag. And we're going to give this a class name of nav link. So this is going to be for the home page. We're going to copy this twice. And this is going to be for the about page and the contact page. All right, right under our unordered list here, we're going to create a container and we're going to give it a class name of hamburger. And inside the hamburger, we're going to add three spans. We're going to give those a class name of bar and we're going to need three of those. So we're going to copy that twice. All right, that's going to be it for the HTML. In here, we're going to start by removing the default padding and margin. And we're also going to add box sizing border box. Let's change the color of the header. I'm going to go with hex code 262626. And for the list items, we're going to use list style none. For our links, let's change the color to white. And we're going to use text decoration none. For the navbar, we're going to go with a minimum height of 70 pixels. And we're going to turn it into a flex box. Let's use justify content space between a line item center. And we're going to give it a padding of 24 pixels on the left and the right. Let's also turn the nav menu into a flex box. We're also going to use space between and a line item center. We don't want our links so close together, so we're going to use a gap of 60 pixels. Let's make the text in our nav branding class a little bit bigger. We're going to go with 2 rem. And for the nav link, we're going to use a transition of 0 0.7 seconds ease. And that's going to be for the hover effect. So let's add that now. So when we hover the links now, they're going to be that color. All right, and we don't want the hamburger to display. So we're going to use display none. And we're also going to use cursor pointer. All right, now let's create the little bars that make up the hamburger menu. We want them to stack on top of each other. So we're going to use display block. Let's give them a width of 25 pixels and a height of three pixels. And we don't want them so close together. So we're going to use a margin of five pixels on the top and the bottom and auto on the left and the right. 
and we're also going to use WebKit transition. We're going to go with all 0 0.3 seconds ease in and out. And you can copy right from when it says transition all the way to the end. And you can just paste it in the bottom. All right, let's also give these bars a color of white. And now we're going to add a media query at 768 pixels. So at this point, we want the hamburger menu to display. So we're going to use the display block. And we also want to create the animation that is going to make the hamburger menu turn into an X. So the top and the bottom are going to make an X and the one in the center is going to disappear. So we're going to do hamburger active and we're going to activate this class with JavaScript. So we'll get to that in a moment. And here we're going to do bar and child. So for bar number two, we're going to use an opacity of zero and we can copy this. Let's change this to one. And we're going to use transform and we're going to stack two properties on top of each other. So we're going to use translate Y. We're going to go with eight pixels and we're also going to use rotate 45 degrees. All right, let's copy this we're going to change this to three and let's change that to negative and this to negative as well and when we click on this hamburger menu of course this is not going to be here the menu is going to appear here so we have to create the settings for that so let's start with a position of fixed and this is going to ensure that when we scroll down the menu remains on the screen so it's not going to stay on the top it's going to remain on the screen until you click on one of the links or when you click on this again all right let's hide it from our view we're going to use left negative 100 percent and we want it to come off the top by 70 pixels Let's set the gap to zero and flex direction to column. That way the links in the menu appear in a column. All right, let's use background color. We're going to go with the same color as the nav bar. And we want the menu to take up the whole screen. So we're going to use width 100% and we want the links to be in the center of the screen. Let's also give this a transition of 0 0.3 seconds. That way the menu doesn't appear on the screen as soon as we click on the menu. So it's going to take 0 0.3 seconds for it to appear on the screen. And we don't want the links of our menu so close to each other. So let's give them a margin of 16 pixels on the top and the bottom. And whenever we activate this nav menu class, we want to display the menu. So we're going to set left to zero. Currently it's at negative 100%. And once again, we're going to activate that with JavaScript. All right, in here, we want to get access to the hamburger class. So we're going to do query selector hamburger. All right, let's copy this. We also need to get access to the nav menu. All right, now we're going to add an event listener to the hamburger. It's going to be of type click. So as soon as you click on this hamburger, we want to activate the class that is going to turn this into an X and also the class that is going to show the menu. So we're going to use class list and toggle, and we're just going to type in active. 
Let's copy that and we're going to do the same thing for the nav menu. All right, so now when we click on this, the menu appears and when we click it again, it disappears. So now all we have to do is when we click on one of these links, make sure that this closes. So this goes back to how it was like this. To do that, we're going to use query selector all. We're going to select the nav link class. And for each link, we're going to add an event listener. And this is going to be a click event. At this point, we want to remove the active class from hamburger and nav menu. So we're going to use class list remove active. Let's copy this and we're going to do the same thing for nav menu. All right. So now when we click on this and select one of the links, it's going to close the nav bar and that's it.